today is a very exciting day for our whole community and our staff because having so many experts around in so many different areas is an absolute gift. For a child to be talking to a practicing entomologist from the Melbourne Museum is quite profound. We had a walk around the wetlands. It's actually a trail that goes all the way around. It's quite exciting, especially for the kids to get in there. They like to spend time in there. But we went in today following a couple of entomologists who were buzzing with you know, what they were going to find for their own interests as well as being able to share with us. So we had this uh, method which we call sweep netting. And it's literally we just sweep our net through grass or vegetation or whatever and we see what comes out. But it's a really quick way of um, seeing lots of different species of insects really, really quickly with not much effort at all. The patch is pretty cool because we've got lots of different wildlife and different habitats everywhere. I've learnt about the Australian bee and that there's two or three thousand Australian bees and I didn't know those little little things are actually bees that I've seen in the garden. I've learned that insects are amazing and they do a really good part of nature and stuff. We have all these students coming in and all the families that they go home to to be able to empower them with knowledge, first-hand knowledge of identification, classification and then the interrelationship of all these things and how moving this and changing that can have an impact beyond what we could possibly imagine. Hi, I'm Diane McDonald and here I've got a great yellow slug. They're a native slug, the great yellow slug. My name is Jenny and I'm the grade 3 4 teacher and we've been doing um, some work in the wetlands and we're looking at habitats in the wetlands and today is really exciting because we've been counting various animals, plants and insects, the scorpions, the um, the myriad of different insects and things that we have. Just sitting down there identifying all the different insects has been amazing. The amount of birds that the kids have come up with and found, the knowledge that they've got. It doesn't feel like a school, it's an environment in itself. It feels like a huge home that's kind of out in the bush, in the garden, it's wonderful. Being surrounded by a bunch of people who are really fascinated and really interested in each other's work and it's so hands-on, so real and the kids' reaction was like, whoa, that's, that's pretty cool. These kids will remember it for the rest of their lives and we know, we know that those experiences are good for our well-being. So if we're learning, we're using our intellect and we're using our, you know, our senses and all of that, we're actually doing some really good things. Yeah.